该晒下一位系 Mr. Martin Dick。Thank you, dear Mr. Chairman, Mrs. Chairman. We are meeting here with more than 100 speakers listed to share their views on our public housing policy on Saturday. But yet, if you walk in the streets of Hong Kong, it is very, very rare to come across the homeless. So I ask, why is this then such a pressing issue? It is so mainly because what we are here today sharing our views on is our future. Many young individuals and couples are currently in a tough position, trying to gain, gain firm ground under their feet, trying to gain stability to start their families. The problem is that while they are looking at the doors of public units from the outside, inside there are people like Lan Kwak Hong, long hair earning $90,000 per month. Many like him are shamelessly and immorally abusing our publicly funded flats. How did we come to tolerate this? The truth is that over the decades, your centrally planned housing policies entirely missed their original goal. Multiple gov governmental housing schemes deviated to the point when they breed self-seeking and lazing about, when they encourage cheating and abuse and are corrupt by nature. It is no exaggeration to claim today that every person in Hong Kong knows someone who immorally abuses so much scarce housing units at the expense of those who really need them. This must be stopped. The Lion Rock Institute wants you to make public housing what, is, what it was intended to be at the first place. We must ensure efficient circulation. We must accommodate the poor ones and urge the rich ones to find accommodation at the open market. We demand annual declarations of income and all assets of all tenants. We demand employment of available face and object recognition technology in all publicly funded apartment blocks. Individuals not on tenant lists must be moved out. Flats being used as storage must be cleared out. All units currently used for other purpose than primary accommodation must be made vacant. And finally, the ones who choose to continue to abuse scarce housing resources must be sent to jail. We want you to bring about the efficiency and just allocation in public housing. All rich ones must be moved out. You can start with Long Kwak Hong. Thank you. Um, how I have one rebuilding the facade, etc. Mr. Long Kwak Hong, Chairman, one non-Chinese speaker from um, the Lion Rock Institute. Um, he is a research assistant. Has mentioned me. I don't know whether he understands the public housing. Policy. Um, I, I don't think he should be a research assistant if he doesn't know. Well, um, I of course live in public housing, and you know my salary. But I don't have a lot of assets. That is why I can be there. It's as simple as that. Is it that you don't agree with that policy? Right? They are watching me. They are monitoring me. Right? The Lion Rock Institute promotes the new freedom philosophy, but uh, he, they are not scolding Si Wai Leung and Li Ka Sheng. I find that rather strange. There is collusion between government and um, business, and there is also um, cronyism. Don't you hate that most? I am Leung, and uh, Si Wai Leung is also Leung. How do you view Si Wai Leung? How do you view Li Ka Sheng? And how do you view the wealth gap in Hong Kong? You promote a low taxation system. You promote uh, reducing taxes. But then how can we tackle the wealth gap? Uh, I'm asking the Lion Rock Institute. You say there should be a tax reduction, but the tax rate is already very low. So what are you saying? Are you really trying to help the poor? I can tell you this. They are all watching me. Two months ago, well, four or five years ago, uh, LSP opened a company and they were trying to investigate into it. And they asked me, You, owe a, you own a company? Did it make a profit? So uh, don't worry about me. Worry about your boss. Your boss. Uh, Sun Parkman, he is a, a rich guy. Uh, he, his father is a rich guy. 
if his father has to pay more tax, he will inherit less wealth. Okay, let's come back here. Number one, Mr. Lam. I also like uh, the non-Chinese speaker to understand the Hong Kong housing policy. You have to know the entire policy. It's actually very simple. I use my salary to do um, social activist programs, and I also donate it to other people. Uh, we can use, we can all use our money for different purposes. Okay, second round, Leung Yu Chung, four minutes.